Brook. Soul King Brook. This man is hands down the MVP of this week's chapter of One Piece. You know what? You know what? No. Brook is the MVP of the entirety of the Whole Cake Island arc. I'm saying that right now. Dude, what can I even say about this man, though? This man has been so useful on the side of the straw. Has not only has he stolen the road pony with rubbings from Big Mom, a goddamn Yonko, but he has just got over the call of duty with this chapter of One Piece with what he has done. Now, going into this plan that Capone had, we all had our speculations going into it. I mean, I'd say that a grand majority of us believed that the plan would fall apart to begin with, whether it be due to Big Mom and the pirates backing her, or simply due to the plan being messed up by someone like Luffy. The grand majority of us were sitting there thinking that this plan was too good to be true, and that something in general would just go wrong. And with that being said, within this chapter, the plan was only foiled to a certain extent. Now, there's a possibility that the Straw Hat Mafia Alliance could succeed with what Brooke did this chapter. Again, Brooke is the end. MVP of this entire fucking arc, yo, but I still believe that they weren't expecting what came out of this chapter. And I will say that surprisingly, surprisingly, I had my eggs in this basket. Surprisingly, though, Luffy wasn't necessarily the one who messed up the plan led out by Capone. And let me say this, his grand entrance, of course, was him coming out of the cake, along with many clones himself created by Brulee, and their entrance being fueled by the Mirror World, of course, as there was a mirror planted within the cake, so that the Straw Hats could fulfill Luffy's plan for the grand entrance, and I mean, if anything, Luffy executed pretty well, establishing his distraction for Big Mom as he was the distraction in Capone's plan, but at the same time, it was foiled to a certain extent by one of Big Mom's commanders, the big man himself, Katakuri. Now, this man is absolutely insane, yo. Using his observation hockey, and that alone, he saw into the future, essentially, and saw the photo of Mother Caramel being broken, and after piecing together the puzzle of what was going on around him, he stopped Luffy util utilizing his Logia type Del Fruit in the Machi Machi no Mi. A Logia type Del Fruit, yo. Katakuri doesn't only have such advanced observation hockey to such a certain degree, he has a Logia type Del Fruit. This man is on another level. And after seeing this, where he actually used his feet to stop Luffy, bro, I have to say, I'm gonna say right now, I might get a little bit of hate for this. I want Sanji to fight Katakuri. It may sound stupid as I said before, but after seeing Sanji utilize his observation hockey to dodge the bullet, seeing his Katakuri's reaction from that dodge, and then seeing Katakuri use his leg to stop Luffy. Like, this may be the biggest fight for Sanji within the story of One Piece for him specifically if it were to happen. But tell me, tell me what you guys think about this idea. But surprisingly, so far, the plan has been relatively successful thanks to the MVP, most valuable pirate throughout the Whole Cake Island arc, Soul King Brook. Let's be honest here, the plan would have been completely screwed if not for Brooke, just the final page of this chapter alone, seeing Brooke with this horrendous Luffy cosplay kind of thing that he had going on for him, just seeing him just slam a hammer into that photo with his signature, yo ho ho <laughs> if this doesn't make Brooke the MVP of this arc, of this plan, yo I, I don't know what was, this was both hilarious and brilliant all it just all combined together at the exact same time, this was fantastic and as far as the future of this ceremony goes, shit has already hit the Fan, yo, as far as Big Mom and the Straw Hats go, we'll likely as well see Big Mom fall to the ground, activate her Conqueror's Hockey, and doing so with her bellow thanks to the destruction of the photo. It would be absolutely crazy if the plan does go to fruition and Capone is capable of taking the shot on Big Mom and in return does so, in return killing her. Like, so far, even with Cat Curry intervening, the plan is seeming to go in the right direction. Thanks to Brooke, of course, all we really need for the success of the Straw Hats is for Capone to kill Big Mom and for the Vince smokes to be saved. Now, they likely won't get out without a fight and whatnot, but at the same time, it's not a fight that they can't win without Big Mom on their tail. A very interesting theory, however, that could really throw a huge fork in the road of the Straw Hats plan as far as their escape goes is simply Big Mom's scream. Now, if Big Mom's scream reaches such a high pitch, it could possibly shatter all the glass in its vicinity, in return causing the mirrors of the mirror world to shatter as well, and this could completely fuck over the Straw Hats and their escape plan from there, shit will really begin to hit the fan. We'll just have to see, though. We as well absolutely need to touch on Jinbei. Boss Jinbei for Nakamura. 
Takuma, yo, I'm saying that right now. This chapter basically confirms for all those non-believers, which how the hell can you not believe that Jinbei will be joining the Straw Hats? Like, this man was already confirmed a while ago. People are still out there like, no, 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 Jinbei will not be joining the Straw Hat Pirates. What are you talking about? But nevertheless, it will be a very, very hefty price he's willing to pay. He's willing to sacrifice his life as he's demonstrated within multiple chapters, including this chapter for his Nakama, the Straw Hats. He put his life on the line once again. It was ready to sacrifice his own life to Big Mom so that Big Mom, in return, would leave the Straw Hats aside. Man, yo, Jinbei would see deserves some respect here. I can't believe people don't like Jinbei. He may be boring, but the fact that he is so noble for a group of pirates he's only known for such a short time, I can't comprehend why someone would still hate Jinbei and reject the idea of him being Nakama. Jinbei for Nakama. With that being said, though, this chapter was definitely a 10 out of 10 in my books, yo. So many amazing things happen within the chapter. The Brook and Jinbei greatness within the chapter. It's overwhelming, and I'm very excited to see where the story goes from here and how the Big Mom Pirates will retaliate to this ambush. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to like this video and subscribe if you're new for some more One Piece content as well. If you guys enjoyed my One Piece content, peace.